Good afternoon everybody, Chief Cloutier here. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about the math that's needed for the driver of the engine. Uh, you know, we have to put water on the fire to put the fire out, but it's not all about uh, just uh, turning the hose on and calling it a day. So, this is engine three. It's our first new truck. It has a thousand gallons of water on it. And this pump is capable of pumping it out at 1,250 gallons a minute. So, for those of us among the crowd who just listened to that, they realize it takes less than a minute to use up all the water that we have if we could flow it all. Fortunately, we don't flow all the water at, at one minute uh, at the same time because it's near impossible based on the amount of hose lines that we have. So why don't we take a walk around to the back, we'll show you some of the hose lines that we use. So touch base on fire behavior and what keeps a fire burning or putting it out. Uh, so the fire triangle, you need heat, fuel, oxygen, and a chemical reaction, that's the fire tetrahedron actually, to keep fires burning. So by putting water on a fire, we take the heat out of it. To do that, we use our truck, which we talked about, our 1,000 gallons of water and our 1,250 gallon a minute pump, and we use different lines to get the water. So this line, which is our most common one, we have two of them pre-connected on the truck. This is an inch and three quarter uh, diameter, one and three quarter inch diameter hose line with a combination nozzle on it. It can go from like a wide fog pattern to more of a straight stream. When you're flowing at, this is capable of flowing 175 gallons a minute per one of these hoses. So to empty the tank, we're looking probably about six minutes or so if we we're just flowing that solid straight through, which we don't typically do. So this would be the smallest of our hoses. The next one would be for a larger fire. This is a two and a half inch inside diameter hose. And this flow is about 250 gallons a minute. So we're talking about four minutes to empty the tank, probably a little bit more. That's that the, at everything that's flowing out of the hose. So that's the two and a half inch, same thing, a combination nozzle. This opens it and closes it. So the one other hose that we carry on the truck is our four inch hose. Typically we use this to get water from the hydrant to the truck, but we can use it to supply another truck, such as if Berlin brought their ladder truck down, we'd hitch this from our engine to the ladder, supply the water to that. That flows about 500 gallons a minute. So as you can see, you could really burn through some water if you're flowing that, a little less than two minutes. We do have one other option on top of the truck. It's a, it's a deck gun, which uses these solid bore nozzles. Now the charts on, on this, this little line, you can flow up to 312 gallons a minute out of that one. Out of 487 gallons a minute out of that one. And 701 gallons a minute out of the bottom tip. Now, as you can see, they're solid bore. So you can see right through them. There's nothing to slow down the water. So you can really go through a lot of water when you're flowing it out of the deck gun, which is on top of the truck. That would be for really big fires that we couldn't necessarily go in into, just trying to knock it down. One last bit of math that the firefighters deal with is the weight of water. So we know water weighs about eight pounds a gallon. So there's 8,000 pounds of water on the truck. Now, if you're flowing this top tip at 312 gallons a minute, you're putting almost 2,500 pounds of water into whatever you're putting it on every minute. So you have to be really careful as to how much water you put, especially into a house, because it can cause it to collapse. So you gotta be careful of that. So that's just a quick overview of some of the math that the drivers and operators of these trucks go through whenever we're flowing water. And then you're talking to getting, if we were flowing both of these lines, then we'd be talking about 425 gallons a minute. So you have to remember all those types of variables. Yeah, that's why Stay in school when you can, obviously next year, hopefully, and learn your math and you're going to use it in everyday life. All right, everybody, have a good day.